Well, it's hard to believe that 20 years have passed since we did Live and Local on the Gator. Every Friday night from 9 to 11 p.m., I got the chance to be on the radio with somebody who became one of my best friends in the world, Drew Schroeder, and we got to see some of the most incredible bands come into our studio and play acoustic for you guys many times before they would go out to places like Kelly Green's and so many others to play full on uh, for the masses. It was an amazing time. And then as we got into the show and the popularity took off, we had a chance to team up with, at the time, Insight Communications to put the radio show onto the TV side of it, something you see all the time now. But 20 years ago, this was pretty cutting edge stuff. There was no social media, there was no YouTube. We still had dial up internet at, at the radio station. But we pulled together with some very, very talented people that you'll see in the credits at the end and to bring the local music scene to you guys in the most intimate and personal way that we ever have. Acoustic broken down and across both radio and TV airwaves here in Southern Kentucky. Enjoy the trips down memory lane as we get a chance to rebroadcast some of these TV episodes from Live and Local. They were live on the radio at the same time. Hope you guys enjoy them. It's hard to believe 20 years ago it was Live and Local on the Gator. Enjoy it right now. Coming to you live from the Gator 107.1 Studio B in Midtown Plaza, it's Live and Local, brought to you by Bell South Mobility. Bands you followed and loved, playing live and answering your questions. It's Bowling Green at South Central Kentucky's only locally based music show. It's Live and Local, and it's coming to you now on the Gator 107.1. Super yes. Fuzz, live from Studio B. Welcome back, guys. Hello. How you doing? Oh, what, good, are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? First of all, let's uh, let's uh, let David Angstrom go ahead and introduce the rest of the band, if well, you will, please, sir. There's uh, Jay, who plays bass, Eric, who plays guitar, and Chris, whose birthday it is today, on drums. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chris. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Well, so you're going to celebrate in style tonight. <laughs> we, we don't drink or do any drugs, so we'll be chanting Bible verses outside of uh, <laughs> the club tonight in the van. If anybody wants to join us, bring a sack full and come on in. <laughs> that's you guys in the van. Oh. Yeah. It's you all along. Yeah, and that's sponsored by... Uh, no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> you got to have a sponsor, man. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Well, it's good to have you guys uh, have you back and everything. Been playing a lot, I know, in Lexington is where you're based out of right now. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the places you play? Uh, A1A right there? Yeah, that's pretty much the only place we play in town in Lexington. Is it? We do like uh, two nights usually a month up there. And get ugly. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, have you been traveling around a lot more? I mean, I I've gone to your website and seen... And uh, you've been taking a little bit of a break here lately. Yeah, we slowed we, we slow down um, like in November, and we've been spending a lot of time in Atlanta and uh, just working on new stuff, man, and, and, you know, getting ready to move to another level and taking that step and meet, meeting the people that are helping us do that. So, Do you ever get to a point, I mean, uh, being, I know some bands here in Bowling Green do in, in Lexington, where, okay, you've done what you can do, you know, you pack the place every time. You have to move on, you know, or just kind of step it up and move to a bigger market, or? Uh, I don't really feel that way as much as, you know, we enjoy what we do, and we're just grateful yeah. to do it in any in any size, in any arena. You know, it doesn't matter what club it is. We're, we're happy to be there, you know, because they usually have what one of our favorite things called beer. <laughs> that, that drags us a lot. It's, I've heard of it's that. It's like a before. magnet. <laughs> yeah. I have heard of that. But yeah, I mean I I think a lot of bands it's it's hard and everybody struggles and you spend a lot of time, but you know, we have to we always remember why we do it, man. It's because we love to play and we love, you know, each other. We're great friends and it's fun to get in the van and go hang out. So it's cool. It's oh man, it's a good time. And uh now they all are about the rock C D. How long has it been out for? 16, 17 years. <laughs> they actually came out with the first Thin Lizzy record, oh, which Eric nice. played on. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> now, uh, when you guys did the CD, it was uh, a three-piece band, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, what made you decide to add one more? Uh, it was getting pretty expensive to go out and play, so <laughs> we figured if we could bring in one more guy, that could help with the gas. He did the woman, too, man. Eric gets <laughs> naked, man, and he drinks Jaeger and tequila and mixes them and seems to enjoy it. <laughs> Is that how it goes? <laughs> yeah. But I, I, don't, I wait to mix them up in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> well, sometimes. We uh, we actually decided to ask Eric to come jam when uh, he was in one of our favorite bands of all time, Blue Honey. And uh, he's been a friend for a long time. And we were out on the road and we were like in Colorado. And we were just talking one day and I've I've really wanted to hear what we would sound like with somebody else, you know, bringing in some melodies and, and helping write and just, you know, doing the whole thing, being part of the band. And um, when we talked about it, his name was brought out immediately and no one else and we called him and asked him thinking that he would just come over and jam because he had kind of uh, retired i guess he was he was taking a step away from going out playing because it's it's hard you know like a lot of local bands can tell you it's hard you're out there doing your thing all the time and, and it wears on you wears on your psyche <clears throat> and your shoes <laughs> yeah, yeah that'll do that too yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when eric came we, when we got home from that run um he came over and and within probably like two songs, we were like, man, we want you to do it. And he really? was all about it. So then we met Jesse James Dupree from Jackal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know, no, man. Never Dream come to true, right? Salt. With yeah. the chainsaw? No, actually, Jesse's a really awesome. cool guy. We do know him. He's a cool guy. <laughs> he, <is laughs> he seems like he'd be a blast to hang out with us for dogs. Man, he's, he's a great, great guy. He's got chainsaws at his house. <laughs> I, I can imagine. <laughs> In a pub. Now, uh, how often do you guys get a chance to play acoustic? I imagine it's not very. Uh, actually, Jay had to rent an acoustic. I know I did, man. I bought this bass from Vinny. <laughs> I bought this bass from the bass player of Vinny Vincent Invasion. Yeah. He needed some money, so I had thirteen seventy eight in my pocket. Thirteen dollars seventy eight cents. I gave it to him for this bass. Listen. <laughs> That's how you hear that. <laughs> That's killer. That's great. It's the first bass Gibson actually made out of particle board. It's something they're balsa wood they're trying. <laughs> it's a, hey, 1378, that's a deal no matter what you get. It was hard enough for money, man. You know, you <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Hard to get that makeup I'd up, say. man. Oh, man. You guys ready to do, a, do so, one here? Yeah, to, to be honest, we don't play acoustic that often. <laughs> <laughs> I, someone told me, I, I think it was actually Chad from, uh, from Gear that said he had seen you guys play. I think uh, maybe uh, in one of the record stores or something. Yeah, I and think that was probably the last time we did it was here. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, they can play acoustic. Okay. Iowa. Oh, Iowa. did we? Yeah. We don't know, man. Oh, well. People are always like, where'd you play last week? We're like, I don't know. Did they have beer? <laughs> <laughs> we were real happy about that. <laughs> oh, well, well. <laughs> so we're going to do some new stuff for you, though. Are you? Yeah, because it's your last night, and we love oh, you, and we man. think you rock, bro. Thank you very much. I appreciate well, we, it. I, actually, Jay's going to love you later, more so than the rest <laughs> yes. of Yes. <the> <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right. He said the magic word, jackpot. There were two words that Jay really likes, actually, incorporated. <laughs> so we should, shoot, we should do a song let's for do, you. Let's do a song. <laughs> yeah. This is your last night. They can't fire you. Anymore. Exactly. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I love that. So should we do Do You Feel first? This is a new song that Eric helped write. It's called Do You Feel. It'll be on the next record. Let's do it, man. Super fuzz. Special one acoustic in here on Live and Local on the Gator 1071. Sorry for myself Oh, you You keep a recipe for being abused I'm really not the one for you Oh, no Show me your door so I can use it Do you feel like I feel Or are you just empty still Do you mind moving on Well I'm done pretending You're the one for me I 
was feeling sorry for myself over you. You say your heart is feeling useless. I'm really not impressed with you. Oh no. Bring in the clowns for your abuse, man. Do you feel like I feel? Oh, are you just empty still? Do you mind moving on? Well, I'm done pretending you're the one for me. But I'm done with this Turn around, it's all around you Losing it Sorry if you suffer But I'm really done Do you feel like I feel? Are you just empty still? Do you mind moving on? Well, I'm done pretending you're That's awesome. Yeah, incredible. Super, super fun. That's a new one. That's beautiful. Very good. Thank now, you. Now, you guys are out. Uh, by the way, tonight, of course, at uh, Kelly Green's. Yeah. Going to be an unbelievable show. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Here yeah. and yeah. Uh, Devil May Care. Yeah. Uh, quickly, you want to talk about Devil May Care and who's in that? Man, Devil May Care is a band, and Chris can tell you, we're just a side band for fun. Fun times, fun times. Yeah, man. We just, it's uh, it's Mark that used to be in the band uh, Black Cat Bone with me, who's now in Tail Dragger, and uh, we've amended our, our ways, and all is good, and we decided to start something up, and Aaliyah from Candy Says is my wife, and she sings in the band, and there's a guy named Paul D that really has no, his last no history. <laughs> He's got this name, man, that nobody can pronounce, so we just call him Paul D. <laughs> but he's cool, and he's got a great pedal board. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and so you just got, you guys just started doing this band, too, on the side? Yeah, it's just for fun, like once a month, man. And everybody's so supportive, it's just cool. Now, I know, um, I mean, in this area, everyone, you know, of course, has heard of Black Cat Bone and now of Super Fuzz. And that was the first thing I heard about when I when I came here, Super Fuzz. You got to go see Super Fuzz. <clears throat> oh, cool. And I, everyone I know has got the CD and everything. Is, is it starting to pick up? Or, I mean, I, I know I've been on the website and everything, and, you know, I've seen that people have start, been starting to play, you yeah. know, the first single from it and everything, and that's kind of, uh, have they added a new single? And people no. People are now starting to catch on, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of really good stuff that we can't tell you yet, but uh. by summertime we will... We'll all be happy and drinking lots of beer. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. That's and we'll beautiful. come find you guys and we'll drink lots of beer. Hey, you. you better. <laughs> On yeah, the beach. It's, it's hard, you know, it's hard because in a band and, and, you know, there's so many bands out there, man, and this this whole, I'm from Glasgow and there's just so many great bands and musicians and everything around this area. It's like, there's so much stuff going on and we learned a long time ago not to really air our business of what's going on until right. something solid because it's hard you know you, you want to tell everybody and then when oh, you yeah. do and then something doesn't happen or it's not what you thought it was and you end up looking like an idiot which we're really good at but <laughs> that's more when they're trying to get us out of the club <laughs> if you're not in the band oh wait you are the band wait till they see me tonight <laughs> wait till they see me tonight does, does right. it ever get frustrating 
I mean, do you, I, you, I'm sure you've got to, but... Is well, that... you can get new magazines. I mean, they, you know, <laughs> every month, man, there's a new supply. It's great. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and now with the internet, you know, hey, oh, possibilities man. are endless. Adultcheck.com? Oh, he's found a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, adultcheck.com. <laughs> well, you know. Membership, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> they don't ask for your credit card, do they? No. Man, I, mean, I, I hate, hate that. that. Yeah, mean, what's up with that? It's like going on a date. Let me have the credit card up front. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we had a moment of clarity. <laughs> um, yeah, it does get frustrating in, in, in any way, you know, and as does anyone's life and anybody's job and, and right. what you're doing. Not, you know, we're lucky that what we're creating is, is emotional and it means a lot to us. And so, therefore, sometimes we take it a lot more personal than people in New York do, right. you know. And, but that's cool. It's... it's We've learned and and are still learning to separate that stuff, you yeah. know, and not it's it's nobody's fault, you know. Everybody plays music and there's great, great bands out there everywhere. We play with great bands all the time out on the road, you know, and um it's nobody's fault that this band gets a deal and this band doesn't get a deal. It's right. just the way it goes, you know. It's all good. It's hard. In a lot of places, just the right place at the right time. Man, we got yeah. lights in our van. We're cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> now, uh, uh, one of the very one of the cool things about the CD and about things I've noticed about Super Fuzz is uh, just the the writing. I mean, a lot of times when you when you hear bands and everything, I, I don't know. Maybe there's not a lot of emotional you know value in them, but a lot of the songs you know are, and you can tell. in a lot of them, uh, we've kind of talked this before, comes from uh, David, your background. Mm -hmm. And uh, being the son of a preacher man, or <laughs> yeah. and uh, now, but I mean, a lot of it comes out, and it, it does. I know it touches a lot of people. I think that's part of the reason you guys are so popular. I mean, hmm. it, do you find it? We uh, thought it was because we pushed the Jägermeister and beer stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, See? I, I think in any, I think in any art form, the bands I really like aren't really the like the skilled players. It's you know, it's the Johnny Rottens of the world that, and you know, Bono and people like that that just take who they are and they and Tori Amos you know it's like it's total truism you know it's somebody delivering how they feel and it doesn't have to be right or wrong it's how they feel right and I tried lyrically to bring to this band uh, Chris and I actually write a lot of lyrics together and we've been friends since we were kids and um, we always all focus on if there is a, a negative energy song to tweak it somehow so that it has a positive outlook, you know, and I'm, I'm, we're not real hip on the whole, we hate, we hate, we hate, we hate, right. you know, mm -hmm. and not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just not our scene, you know, we like to have a good time, and uh, it's good, and I appreciate you saying that it's, it's, it's easy to detect, because sometimes you wonder as an artist, you know, but yeah. that's just what I was raised on, man, in the, in the bands, and God, it, it took me a long time to realize where Itchy Brother was coming from as opposed to Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy way to sum it up. Man. <laughs> it took me like 30 minutes of seeing him at the flea market. And I went, okay. <laughs> Love Gun, not cool. <laughs> no, actually, I like Love Gun. <laughs> oh, man. It's, I mean, it's got to be hard because uh, you, you see, you know, kind of bands hopping on the bandwagon or whatever. You know, like you said, every right now it's going after the teenagers and hate, 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 you know, and I hate this, I hate right. that, and you got 35-year-olds singing about <laughs> being a teenager again. Yeah. And, you know, I, it's very cool that you guys haven't, you know, even tried to do that, and uh, uh, it's definitely got a lot of respect because you haven't, and you've stuck to your guns, and, I mean, you've got a great CD. Like, what's up in the future for Super Fuzz here? We're going to do a country record, I think. Yes, it's about yeah. time. <laughs> waiting for it. Naked country record. <laughs> No, well, isn't everyone? Uh, we're not actually good enough to play country, so we'll stick to the <laughs> punk rock rock stuff. Uh, you know, we'll we'll do another record this year, hopefully, and that'll entail with some of the stuff that's going on for us. You know, we've yeah. got some some great things happening, man. We just we feel bad because we can't say a lot, you know. But oh, I understand. There's some new songs, and that's why we wanted to come and, and deliver some new songs for you guys. Show you that we are progressing, and there's like eight new songs in the live show now. And, really? You know, we're we're doing it up. We get pyros when we're at home. We're starting to. Starting to blow things up more often. All right. <laughs> always good. Pyromania is always good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's do one. Let's do another new song. You guys ready for another right. one? Yep. Sun So Bright. Do some sun. Yeah, this is a song, actually, that I wrote. Um, 
about my two kids and how cool they are, how much, how much they uh, took me from a me, me, me person to someone who's about people around them instead. Uh, At least I hope. I hope, <laughs> I hope that was them that did that. Not that tequila. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Either one, same thing. Yeah. Let's do a super fuzz live from Studio B. Pinching myself with my arms outstretched. Well, I swear to God I never will forget. As you lifted me higher to your sun so bright. And I could finally see why I was given life. I'm so alone. Cause you turned me around, I would rather die Than ever let you down, you resurrected me The day you were born, I want the world to know Just how much I adore you Leaning forward with my heart undone Well, I never knew I was giving up as you lift me higher to your sun so bright, I could finally see why I was given life so alive. Cause you turned me around, I would rather die than ever let you down. You resurrected me the day you were born. I want the world. Just how much I adore I'm so alive Cause I'm so alive It's been a long time since I had my head checked I hope you will remember I hope you will believe in me Hope you realize how much you've made my life mean to me. No, you're allowed to live and breathe any way that you choose to be. When you're alone and your heart's undone, you know you can look so me, yeah. Turns forward, my heart undone. Well, I never knew I was giving up As you lifted me high to your sun so bright well, I could finally see why I was given life I'm so alone Well, you turned me around, I would rather die Than ever let you down, you resurrect me. The day you were born, I want the world to know just how much I adore you. There you go. Super, Super fuzz. fuzz, man. Excellent, fellas. <laughs> You guys should come to practice and help us. <laughs> <laughs> that feels good. We can just sit there and bob our head. You, yeah. know. Oh, you guys rock. You want another beer? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a second. <laughs> okay, Dylan, you get them for us. <laughs> but I'll still answer the phones for you. Don't worry. All right. I, I should apologize to anybody that was calling. I was doing my Charlie Whistle Nut stuff. So. <laughs> hey, that's okay. I was like, mm, I got the gator. <laughs> like we said, were they going to fire us? They didn't even yeah. pay him to be yeah. here. I think you're out of here, man. <laughs> oh, man. Tonight, uh, I cannot think of a better way to uh, go out without a doubt. You've got gear. They're uh, going to be, actually, they're probably starting right now. Yeah, they're, they're You've got start. Devil May Care and then Super Fuzz. Yes. It's, it's going to be rock. a yes, real show. Definitely. Uh, any uh, kind of insight on when that new CD might be out? or just? It's actually out right now in Malaysia. <laughs> but, no, we don't know. Later this year. 
it is here. Man, Whenever Eric gorgeous. will let us, really. He's, it's been really weird with Eric in the band. We've never had this dictatorship thing, but <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it works out perfect. <laughs> and we'll be waiting out. Yeah. Well, man, we honestly, we appreciate you guys coming out. We really do. Man, thank you for everything you've done for everyone around here and all the local bands. You rock, dude. I appreciate it. I really do. Like I said, I'm just, you know, a huge fan <laughs> of all the music oh, around cat, here, and man. I love it, dude. I really do. Right on. I couldn't think of a better way to get crazy with Super Fuzz. <laughs> I yeah, really yeah. couldn't. Have him play acoustic. Oh, and we'll do that. Ah, oh, yes, we will. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Go on over. Get ready for the show. Thanks, man. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of going uh, goodbye here. Coming up next after we take a break, don't forget, go out buy All About the Rock. It's a very, very cool CD. You will love it. Yes. I guarantee everyone yes, we have will. given it to does. We will be back in just a sec with our last live and local break. <laughs> Cater 1071. Thanks, Super Fuzz. Thank you. Thank you. Get inside the NBA with the best double team in basketball. Join host Andre Aldridge and Kevin Lockery as they work the give and go with your questions and comments online at CNNSI.com. Time to run the give and go. Get all the latest news and insider information from around the league on This Week in the NBA. Well, say, Paul, what are you doing? Annabelle, I'm logged on to the new Enhanced During Our Movie Online. It's incredible. You can log on to tbssuperstation.com during our show every Friday night and have an interactive, real-time experience. Annabelle, this is unbelievable. Every week they have new stuff, mm -hmm. trivia about movies mm -hmm. and food. Mm -hmm. They've got cool games mm -hmm. and lots of prizes. Hey, maybe I can win a new co-host. <laughs> Enhanced Dinner and a Movie, Friday nights on tbssuperstation.com. Log on. Welcome back. Live and local on the Gator 107.1 for about five more minutes. And that's about it. Uh, one thing I wanted to say real quick uh, before we go into the goodbyes and everything. Um, gotten word from actually three out of the four local clubs around here that play live music and um bit of a bit of a crackdown by the uh the police at these places <laughs> I've, it's yeah. been everywhere in town and uh i've just kind of been asked and personally it's really killing the clubs yeah i mean yeah. uh from what i've heard from three of these places that they're on the brink of maybe having to shut down right yeah. because they've gotten you know fines and everything of people coming in with really good fake ids <laughs> <laughs> Too good, actually. You know, them getting busted, and, and it just costs so yep. much money for these yep. clubs. It really does yep. cost a ton for them to um, pay these fines. Yeah, you know, some of these girls, they can come in, and one day to, from the next, you yeah. can't tell. I, I mean, mean, you know, the bouncers are, you know, yeah. doing the best they can. They, yep. They're all there checking. Hey, they check mine yep. every time. Yep. They know who I am, but, they, you know, they're yeah. still checking. No, that, you know, that's what they're supposed to do, it's, but sometimes they miss them, and... It's kind of it's kind of hard to spend five minutes on each person when you got people coming in and out. You it's know? it's people's jobs basically yeah. are what's on the line, and uh, the bartenders they they get fined, right. you know, and it's it's really just not a good thing. So if you know you're not 21 and you're going into the club, yeah. you know, you may be the reason that place shuts down if you get caught. Yeah. And I, I I've been in clubs all over town the last two weeks, and every one every night I've been in there. They have come in and, you know, been checking IDs. So yeah. be aware. They're they're coming in. Yeah. You're going to get fined, and you may be the reason that club yep. gets shut down and we don't have any more yeah. local music there around. You know. Definitely. So please, don't even bother, you know. Yeah. Uh, believe me, I know when I was younger, I wanted to go see stuff, too, and I know there's not as much stuff to do. But yeah. <laughs> it's just not worth the it's risk. It's better not having anything at all. So. Exactly. So that please. Please don't get these places shut down. Because <laughs> I'll come back after you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dylan. Drew. This is it, man. This the is last it. live and local. It was awesome, man. This was a good show. Oh man, you know, I'll. Uh, I guess I, I can kind of just explain what happened as I did on the message board. But mm -hmm. uh, about a about a week ago, I was offered a job um, down in Florida. I can't say exactly where, but uh, until contract talks are done and we go on the right. air, but I, I right. start down there on Monday, and it was just one of those opportunities, you know, you. I can't. Oh. I could not give it up. Yeah. I couldn't pass it up. We can't blame you, Drew. We I have a. I mean, I came down here a year and a half ago, you know, and uh, just came down because, oh, followed somebody down. <laughs> <laughs> but that's over. Yeah. But uh, you know, I got down here and I, I came down for the experience because I 
really wanted to learn about radio, learn about doing good live radio right. so I could go on to a bigger market. And I just never had any idea it would be so hard to leave. Yeah. You know, I've made friends here that I swear to God, I feel like I've been friends with them for, you know, my entire life. It's right. been amazing. And a lot of it's been from doing this show yeah. and just meeting some damn amazing people. I really yeah. have some amazing musicians and everything. It's we, we can't blame you, Drew. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's like the musicians. Everybody wants to go to the next level in their career. And yeah. this is a big step for you. We can't blame you for going. But we do thank you. for, uh, And I personally thank you for taking the time to uh, help me out Man. on my little walk, too. So Hey, uh, I, I wish you the best, you know. And to everyone who's called these last couple days since I announced it and everything has been just amazing. Yeah. They really have been yeah. amazing. Yeah. And since, you know, since I've been doing this, I've just met some great musicians and God just sitting around the house listening to people like Keith Hurt and Mark Whitley, yeah. you know, Chad and man, even David Angstrom, you know, coming in here and everything and just listening to these guys sing and just jam and see how much they love music. You have no idea effect that has on your life. You know, right. when you can just sit there and see amazing ability like that. Right. And, you it's, know, I, I hope, I just hope everyone the best. I really do. Yeah. We wish and, you the best, too, Drew. It's amazing, the, just a small town like Bowling Green and the impact local music has, and especially what this show has had, too. But, uh, you know, we'll, shoot, we'll do what we can to keep this local music going. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you know, like like I said, it, it's stopping here. Yeah. You now the new company doesn't yeah. really feel like it'll fit the format. Right. And they're putting it on a hiatus for a while. Hope, hope to God that someone will pick it up, and I really yeah. think they do. Because it'd be crazy not it, to. Yeah, it, we've you know just shown you know that we believe in the people and that there's so many people out there that want to see and hear this music yeah. that somebody will pick it up. I right. guarantee they will. Right. But you know, I just honestly like to thank. There's so many people to thank. You know, obviously Anthony, number one, the guy's been here since I right. walked in that door the first day at the Gator. Anthony and I started together, and since then we've just done everything together. You know. Right just been emotional just best friends it's been great I, you know and everyone else there's just so many people i can't even name you know and for you to step in it's been very cool and i appreciate it i'm just sorry it couldn't last any longer yeah. but <laughs> it, you know it's been a great ride yeah. i will i swear to god always 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 remember the people i meet yeah that i have met here for yeah. me to come into a town and just feel so at home from coming to a place like chicago to a place like Bowling Green, just feeling so out of the water for the first little bit. And yeah. For now, it feels so at home. It's like, honest to God, it's like I'm leaving my home. Right. It's crazy. But that's right. kind of part of the business. And yeah, that's, that's, that's how it goes. But <sighs> i just like to quickly, you know, just thank everyone. You know, I've been nothing but inspired since I've been here, but most of all, yeah. and I said it on the website, just thank you to everybody for being such good friends because I, I, honest to God, will never forget. So, yeah. thank you very yeah. much. Yep. I will see you April 7th for okay. Livestock, Livestock without a doubt, man. Definitely. It's been a fun ride. Drew, my friend. It's been a great ride. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Never, ah, what a great show. Yep. What a great show. You know, I hope someone picks it up, and I'm sure somebody will. Yeah. It'd be crazy not to. All right. Out to Kelly Green's, everybody. <laughs> for a little uh, a going away live and local celebration. And uh, we'll, we'll go have some fun and watch Super Fuzz and Gear and yeah. Devil, Devil May Care, man. Listen to them rock. They're going to rock the house tonight. All right. Thank you, everybody, for listening and uh, for all your prayers and for calling, you know, and never, never getting down and, you know, always thanking me for everything and being so supportive about the move and everything. I totally needed that. I really did. It just shows you how much of a support group there is around here and right. how special everyone is and down to earth. And that's just amazing. Thank you. We're out of here. Live yes. and local is done. Let's hope not forever, my brother. <laughs> yes. just, just let's uh, let's, temporary. let's go out in style. Yes. This is uh, one of the best songs, man, that could be used for this occasion. It's uh, yeah, it's Trucker's Goodbye. Thank you. Peace. Oh, only for you, Drew. I will never forget everybody. I swear. Have a uh, good night. Assalamu alaikum. Won't you please just come back? Down. Tell me where you're coming from I know somebody like you He thinks he knows He sees 
He's away, you're coming back, and he's got you under control. And I hope it's time you want me going back. You say you think you've added up to here, but these are new words to me. Your time is now, your life is spinning upside down, and I think it's plain to see. And I hope it's time you want me going back, because I've seen this game take many lives off of track. Well, you know the sun will rise, even if it's not by your side, you just have to believe. Pain that you're feeling, I see the tears in your eyes. I know it takes living and learning, but sometimes it's harder to say goodbye. Harder to say goodbye. Harder to say goodbye. close cause you know it's true and I hope you're feeling it too you gotta uh, get up get out get back to what it's all about and that's you uh, doing the things that you do yeah and I hope it's time you want me going back because I've seen this game take many lives off of track well you know the sun will even if it's not by your side, you just have to believe. And I know the pain that you're feeling. I see the tears in your eyes. I know it takes living and learning. But sometimes it's harder to say.